Hey, welcome to another episode of DIY Car Mods. My name is Jeff, and in this video, I'll be doing a product review on the LED bulbs from Auxedo. Okay, so here are the LED bulbs. These are switchback LEDs for your front turn signal. This particular one comes with a 3157 base, which is compatible with both CK and standard type. And each bulb comes with a total of eight amber LED and eight white LEDs. So there are six all the way around and there's two of each color on top. Now here is my stock incandescent front turn signal bulb. This is a dual filament bulb, so it does parking and turn signal from the same bulb. And so this right here has four contacts in the bottom. So this is also a dual functioning LED bulb. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Now what I like to do is take the original one and the new LED and compare the connection base in the bottom and they are the exact same one. And for this particular bulb, the polarity doesn't matter. You can insert it this way or this way. It will work both ways. And it's as simple as that. Now, when you change out your stock turn signal incandescent bulb to an LED, you're gonna get what's called hyper flashing. Basically, your turn signal is gonna blink really fast now. Now, to correct that issue, what you can do is a couple of things. You can go ahead and change out the relay, flasher relay like this one, to a LED version, so then it will fix all four corners just by you changing out the relay. Or you can go ahead and install load resistors on every single turn signal bolt that you switched out to LEDs. Or you can use something like this. This is my plug and play resistor harness um, that will fix all four corners. Newer vehicle, this is not accessible. This is soldered into the circuit board and something that you simply can't take out and put back in. With older vehicles like my O2 Accord, yes, I can go ahead and change this out. That's not a problem. But however, for newer vehicles, many of them, you're not able to change this out. So you have no other choice other than to install a load resistor or some kind of plug and play harness right here. Now there are LED bulbs in the market that claim that a external load resistor or something like this is not required. Yes, it is true for those certain bulbs. However, if you open up that bulb, a load resistor is actually built inside in the middle of the LED bulb. Now, these things can get up to 350 to almost 400 degrees hot. And that is why if you read the reviews on those LED bulbs, people complain that, oh, after it's been on for a minute, it goes back to hyper flashing or it started smoking or it stopped working. The reason being is again, this gets so hot that it starts to melt the components inside. And so over time, it melts everything, and so that's why it becomes defective. All right, installation is very simple. Go ahead and locate your front turn signal bulb, which is right here. And for my particular vehicle, I can reach it from up here. So I just have to put my hand in here until I can reach the socket and turn it counterclockwise to remove this bulb. Here you go. All right, so here is my front turn signal bulb and the socket. Now I can either go ahead and just pull this out and insert this in, but what I like to do is just go ahead and remove this from the wire harness altogether. Just go ahead and push this black button right here and pull on this and it'll come out. And then go ahead and remove the bulb and then insert the new one. And then put it back into the wire harness. Now the reason why I like to do this is just so that I don't short anything out just in case. Now there you go. Now go ahead and put it back into the headlight housing. And then turn it clockwise to lock it in place. Alright, next what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on my parking light to make sure that the white LEDs turns on. And there you go, as you can see, it does turn on. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my parking light and turn on the hazard to make sure that this blinks amber. And as you can see, it does. Okay, so I went ahead and swapped the driver and the passenger side with the new LED. I have the headlights turned on. As you can see, the corner lights are white. It's turned on white. Now, when I signal, as you can see, the white turns off and it only blinks amber. And when I turn off the turn signal, it's gonna go back to white. 
All right, I just went ahead and reinstalled the stock one on the passenger side and the driver's side is the new LED. As you can tell, the driver's side is much brighter compared to the stock incandescent bulb. And here you go with just the parking lights turned on. The stock side is going to be amber because the bulb is amber. The new LED side is going to be white like this because it's switched back. So again, parking is going to be white. And when you signal, it's going to turn off white and blink amber. All right, so that completes the product review of the switchback LEDs from Oxido. I'll have the product link in the description below, so go check it out. As always, don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, where I do free giveaways for my YouTube subscribers every month. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos.